So I'm seeing an article here on Boxing Scene and it's with Dylan White and basically he is discussing basically his meeting that he had with the WB president Mauricio Silliman and basically trying to come to some sort of resolution on this whole ridiculous mandatory challenger kind of thing with the WBC and for those who don't know Dylan White is currently ranked number one with the WBC and I believe he's been ranked number one for well over a year now definitely has been well over a year and he has repeatedly been kind of pushed aside in terms of you know being named as mandatory challenger and now he is probably he is aggrieved that Dominic Brazil has the nod ahead of him because Dominic Brazil if you go on the WBC rankings he's ranked at number four below Luis Ortiz below Tyson Fury and below Dylan White okay which I think is ridiculous now I'm going to read some things off this article on Boxing Scene here. Now it says, White based on a, where does it say that? It says, oh yeah. So basically he's saying that he had a sit down. I was reading completely the wrong thing there. It says, White sat down with the World Boxing Council, the BBC President Mauricio Sullivan, to discuss the boxers beefed with their recent decisions. And I'm going to quote Dylan White here. It was an amicable chat, White told Express Sports. He's the president. I speak my point. He speaks his point. And then we just come up with some sort of plan. We we're meant to have something in place on Friday, but they're late. I'm not surprised by that. So we'll see what happens. Initially, the WBC ordered White and Brazil to fight for a final eliminator. I remember that. Um, that was for the interim title. A video on that on the channel. But when Fury was unable to move forward with his rematch against, or when Wilder was unable to move forward with his rematch against Fury, the sanctioned bodies ordered Brazil get the shot. White is scheduled to return on July 13th at the O2 Arena in London. At the moment, nobody has been secured as an opponent. White is a bit frustrated with these series of events in his career. Understandably so, understandably so. Um, Dylan White and the WBC. Now, I've seen a lot of people say that they don't have much sympathy for Dylan White because this week he could be getting ready to fight Anthony Joshua in Wembley for you know the WBO, WBA and the IBF World Heavyweight title. Which is true, Dylan White did turn down a career high payday not to take that fight. But I, d I think that one of the reasons why he turned that fight down is, well there are several reasons, I think. And I'm going to just throw this out there that maybe he just didn't want to fight Anthony Joshua. Maybe he thought that there's bigger paydays out there. Well not bigger paydays, but he could make more taking you know fights like his next fight at the O2. We'll say it's against Luis Ortiz. And then he has maybe another fight and then another fight before jumping in with a Wilder or a Joshua. Maybe he could make more in the immediate time and then have a cash out fight with Joshua than fighting him now and, you know, lo risk losing. And I don't think anybody would be picking Dylan White to beat Anthony Joshua now at this stage. Because although White's improved, so has Joshua. And, you know, I think that maybe that's why maybe Dylan White didn't feel, I won't say maybe he didn't feel conf confident enough of winning. But maybe he didn't. Maybe that's why he didn't take the Joshua fight. Maybe he feels more confident of beating the likes of a Deontay Wilder. Um, because we know he's wanted that fight for a long time now. I mean, Eddie Hearn made an offer, I think it was in the region of $7 million to Deontay Wilder when he was meant to fight Bermain Stavern back in 2017. So this has been going on a long time, Dylan White trying to chase Deontay Wilder and the WBC title. You know, some of the names that I'm hearing um, being dropped for Dylan White are, you know, a Parker rematch, which I don't really see happening. Um, I'm hearing Luis Ortiz, which I could I could see happening, and uh, Pavekin. I wouldn't mind seeing him fight Pavekin or Ortiz, to be fair. Um, you know, I think that they're dangerous fights, but they're winnable fights. And they'd be entertaining fights, especially Pavekin. I wouldn't mind seeing Dylan White against Pavekin. I think that fight could have some fireworks in it. But that's the kind of scenario with Dylan White. And I, I feel deep down that Wilder will come through Brazil. I don't think he'll have too much trouble with it. But I definitely think that more than likely what will happen is the WBC will either order Deontay Wilder rematch Tyson Fury or they'll make Tyson Fury man the challenger, challenger. I wouldn't even be surprised if the WBC come out and announce that they're making Schwartz versus Fury a final eliminator. I really wouldn't. Because I think that's kind of... I, although some people are saying they don't think the fight will happen. I'm kind of in two minds. One minute I'm thinking the Fury Wilder rematch won't happen. Then other times I'm thinking, you know what? Wilder says things like he doesn't see the, the Joshua fight happen until 2020. I could see the, the Fury fight, the Fury rematch happen. So, kind of that's where I think I'm going. It's unfortunate for Dylan White because I think that he's fought 
very, very good level of opponents. He's fought the Joseph Parkers, the Richardsoras, you know, good fighters. Um, you know, he's been, you know, vocally called out people like, you know, Pavekin, uh, amongst other people. So I think that Dylan White, if there's ever a man who deserves a title shot, it's Dylan White. But I think we need to just be patient. And I don't, I'd be, I wouldn't, I'd actually be surprised if he got a title shot this year. And that's being fair. I think there's guys like Usek who will be stand a more realistic chance of getting a title shot with Anthony Joshua or with Deontay Wilder. Maybe not Deontay Wilder, but I think there's there's people, there's other people there that I think Wilder would be willing to fight other than the Dylan White. And I don't really know why he doesn't want to fight Dylan White because I actually think that if Dylan White fought Deontay Wilder, that Deontay Wilder would win. So, you know, I don't know what it is, but Dylan White, it's unfortunate what's happening, but, you know, I think he's, he's every right to feel aggrieved with the whole way the situation's been. But I think he needs to just keep winning. And at the end of the day, yes, he could have had a world title fight this week if he wanted to. But I think he wants to go the WBC route. And there was actually, I think, back and forth between him and Manuel Char. Um, be interesting to see where that goes. But do we count the WBA regular title? It's up to yourself. So those are my thoughts on this. Do you t- Leave your thoughts down below. Do you think Dylan White should feel aggrieved? Do you think Dylan White's made mistakes in his career? From a managerial point of view to, you know, a pick and a fight point of view. Do you think he should have took the Anthony Joshua fight? Do you think he could have been successful in that fight? Leave your thoughts down below. As always, thanks again for dropping by the channel. It's much appreciated. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Share it if you felt it was useful. Subscribe if you want to see more content. And as always, I will talk to you after.